So yesterday we got the official cover for MLB The Show 22 with Shohei Otani on the cover. And with that we got this beautiful 99 overall finest Shohei Otani in MLB The Show 22, but he's a right fielder. But if you take a look at his card, secondary position is starting pitcher and relief pitcher. So that begs the question, how the hell do you get him on the mound? First off, look at his hitting stats. They're absolutely cracked out with max power, 94 speed, and he's got a cane and an arm in the outfield. What more could you ask for from a hitting standpoint? But unfortunately, I can't toggle over to see his pitching stats. But luckily for me, somebody on Twitter figured it out. I mean, this could clearly be fake as well. But I believe everything you see on the internet to be true. So we're gonna say that this is facts. He's got 96 stamina, 112 hits per nine, 107 Ks per nine, 97 walks per nine. He just looks really, really good. Can't see what pitches he has, but we can only assume it's the classic Shohei Otani pitches. Fastball, splitter, cutter, whatever else he has. So now we at least know he's got really good pitches stats he's got pitching as a secondary position so how the hell do you get him on the mound well today we are gonna show you how to do that but first be sure to like this video subscribe to the channel if you're new we're gonna be posting daily MLB the show 22 well for now 21 but 22 news as that starts to come out so first things first we are gonna move Shohei Otani over to the bench we're just gonna hop into a CPU game but this will also work online we're gonna be the home team the reason that this is relevant is because we're gonna put our starting pitcher in the leadoff spot and then when he gets up we're gonna pinch hit him for Shohei Otani and then after the inning it'll ask you got a position player on the mound you just back out and then Shohei will be on the mound pitching you just have to remember the really stupid new rule that's in baseball that the pitcher has to pitch to at least three batters or finish an inning before he can get taken up so that's why we are the home team this way Verlander can get his three hitters done and then I can take him out but if you're playing in an online game it's not guaranteed you're going to be the home team so it won't be a bad idea to put him in the six seven eight or just leave him in the nine spot you just might have to pitch like two, three innings with Verlander, but then you can put Shohei in if you really want to. So we got Verlander starting the game. You're going to have to at least have a different starter to start the game, no matter what you are. If you're home team, if you're the away team, no matter what, you're going to have somebody other than Shohei start. So we're just going to quickly get through these first three batters. And as far as I know, I can't just replace Verlander once he gets the three batters. Say we got a guy first, second, we're one out, we're through three batters. I don't think I can just replace place for a lander with Shohei. As far as I know, this is the only method that works to actually get him in the game. As you see, we got through that really quick, three strikeouts to end the inning, and now we have Justin Verlander leading off. So you just gotta remember to go substitute him, and we're now gonna put Shohei Otani into pinch hit. Verlander pitched to three batters, he also finished an inning, so he doesn't need to stay in the game any longer. So now we got Shohei batting. <laughs> And Shohei lines out. Wow, that is embarrassing. This is on rookie. So I don't really care for the rest of this. So I'm just gonna bunt so we can get Shohei on the mound as soon as possible. Did I just, I just got a bunt single. We're going to two. Oh my God, are they gonna? Nope, they got me. Finally, and we pop it up. Dude, the computer is really bad. We're just gonna run to second. But we are now out of the inning. So now it's gonna basically say, you got a position player on the mound. Do you wanna put somebody else in? You have a position player on the mound. All you gotta do is back out. So now that we back out, we now have Shohei Otani on the mound and it's even gonna give me some warm up pitches. Unsure if it's gonna do that online as well, but this will at least help boost his stamina so he doesn't get as tired as fast. And you can see on the left hand side, his pitch repertoire, he's got a fastball 95 to 100 miles per hour. He's got the splitter, he's got the slider, the cutter, the curveball, really good pitch mix. He's got basically max energy, make confidence. Like overall, this guy could probably even with very minimal warmups could go probably I'd say three innings. And on top of that, you get his bat in the lineup which has max power, 94 speed, and like 110 contact. We're gonna pitch an inning real quick with him. Cutter's of course nasty. He's best known for his disgusting splitter. But one thing MLB The Show has to incorporate next year is a way to put Otani that you can have him on the mound and you can use him as a hitter, like the same card. Like for example, I should just be able to put the Shohei Otani card in 
because he does have starting pitcher secondary just in my rotation and then I can start him. The only difference is if I start him, obviously he can't play the outfield. They need to find a way to incorporate that in MLB The Show 22 because otherwise we're just not getting the full Shohei Otani experience. I'm only going to pitch the one inning. Oh my god, Shohei allowed a hit on rookie. Dude, he's a bum. Send his ass to the Shadow Realm. He's going to two. He is hosed. No idea what he's doing. We got out of the inning with Shohei Otani, but that is how you get him on the mound. So now you got the bat in the lineup, bat in leadoff. You also have him in the stern rotation. Kinda. I mean, he's at least in the game pitching. See, the only thing that sucks is what I've been kind of messing with trying to figure out is when I want to take Shohei Otani out, how can I put him at a different position and bring somebody else into pitch? For example, I tried pinch hitting Corbin Burns for somebody random. We got another pitcher in. Why can't I just manually switch positions with Shohei Otani? You can't sub for a pitcher. So essentially, when you're done with Shohei Otani, which remember, he's probably gonna last like three innings, maybe a few more tops, then you basically have to take him out of the game completely. So that's kind of what I mean by they haven't found a way to utilize Shohei Otani to his full potential. And as I mentioned, the easy fix would be the Shohei Otani has a stern pitcher secondary. Give me the option to put him in the stern rotation and have him in my lineup but if I want to start him in the game I have to take him out of the lineup out of my bench and replace him with somebody else overall I don't think that'd be a very hard fix and it would give us a chance to actually use a Shohei Otani card the way Shohei Otani is supposed to be used but after he's done pitching let me put him in the damn outfield well, I hope they fix that next year, but hopefully you boys enjoyed this video. That is how you put Shohei Otani on the mount. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you try it online and how he fared. How many innings did he pitch? Is he actually good? Because his stats pitching wise, if those were real, look pretty damn good. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.